Uh-huh, I sure will. Good morning, everybody. You're listening to The Voice. Come on, dig me now. One and only, Steve Harvey. Got a radio show. <laughs> Man, yeah, I do. Man, God been good to me. Man, he been so good to me. Wow. And, 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 and you know why I say it like that, what makes it amazing, is because it's been in spite of myself. I mean, you know what I mean by that? I mean, I mean that he's been good to me in spite of all the craziness I've done, all the foolishness I've gotten myself involved with, and, and not only got, but knowingly got myself involved with, all of the stupid decisions I've made. Put all that to the side, and he's still been good to me. Bring it all and put it on the plate, and he's still been good to me. Man, that's amazing, man. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that could say the exact same thing. I mean, come on, man. I got you ain't famous. I got ain't nobody got no microphone in your face. I got nobody ain't got no spotlight on you. I got nobody ain't got no camera in your face. I got nobody probably ain't nobody blogging about you. But let me tell you something. If you break it down and be real about it, oh, you done done something outside the box. You done done something, ladies included. You've done something out the box. You woke up and went, what? did I do that for? Oh, we've all done it. So with all that said and done, God still loves you, man. God still loves you, still wants the best for you, still considers you his child, and is and is willing, is willing, man, to show you your future. He is willing to show you your life. He is willing to let you take a peek at the blueprint. Man, that's an amazing God right there. Because I, I know I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it. I'm glad it's him. You know, uh, today, man, I want to encourage brothers out there. And when I say brothers, I'm talking to everybody that's of the male species. I don't care about your color. I really, really don't. I don't even have time for that in my day. I, matter, matter of fact, sometimes when you get to discussing race, I just get tired of it sometimes. So I just wish. You know, some, some days I just want to wake up and just do me. You know, I, I, I got what 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 the skin tone is, I got that. But I just want to wake up some days and just go on about my business and do me. I don't want to have to deal with it. Sometimes I get tired of talking about the issues. I ain't going to make them go away, but sometimes I get tired. So today I'm talking to brothers, all the brothers of the male species. I'm talking about men. Today, man, if, if, if you ain't doing it all, if you're feeling empty, man, start today completing your, your process and your journey. And you know what I'm saying by that? If there's a part of you that's missing as a man, 
and 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 now man i'm talking to you so you know some ladies listening but you know what i'm talking about it's it's some part of you that's missing as a man if you ain't really been in touch with your kids like you're supposed to now for whatever the reason is and please know i do understand how sometimes women can use children as pawns it happens all the time i've been through it i've been through it man I know what it feels like, man, to want to do something, but because you ain't got this or you ain't doing this, then I ain't going to let you have this. You got to fight through, fellas. You got to fight through. You got to fulfill your end of the deal. And I got how difficult they making it. I got how, man, it's going to come with some drama, but you got to fight through it. Because, man, we need fathers to be fathers. That's really what we need. If you're a man out there and you are a father of a child, we need you to do your job. We, I'm talking about the, our community, our situation, us as a people, all of us, we need you to be a father, period. Now, hey man, I ain't coming down on you. I'm, I'm just your boy, I'm your man. And I've I, I, I been in the same predicament and the same hole myself where I couldn't get to them. Uh, where they were used as pawns, where they they were told things about me that wasn't even true. I've been through it. Uh, you can't see them. You don't come over. Okay, okay, I got all that. You ain't sent this. You ain't, okay, hey, hey, got all that. If, if, if you can call them sometimes, tell them you're thinking about them. Tell them you love them. If you can get a letter to them, if you can get a message to your children through one of your relatives, start the process today. Be a father. It's your job. Now, because you ignoring him, or you acting like they ain't over there, or you done backed him out of your mind because the situation got too difficult, I got that. I, I, I got that. But you got to step up and be fathers. You got to write a letter. You got to send the money. If she talking about if you don't send all the money, you ain't going to send. Send what you got. If, she, if taking it over there is too much drama, send it through a relative. Give it to a mama. Give it to a sister. Ask her to take it over there and do something for the baby. Because, okay, okay, you can't deal with the drama. I got that. And I know it's much to pay when you have to deal with that. Because I, clearly I know hell have no fury like a woman scorn. Please know I know that. Please know. And that's a real statement. That ain't no saying Steve got. That's that's the truth. So, but do what you got to do. Sometimes you have to apologize. Sometimes an apology goes a long way to your children. Just say, look, because I've made this apology before. Hey, man, look, I'm sorry. I wasn't there for you. I was out grinding and hustling, and I wasn't paying attention to you. And I should have been. And I apologize. Now, imagine, man, there's days where you was telling people I was your father up at the school and they wasn't believing you. I apologize for sending you through that. But now, man, I tell you what, I'm, I made some mistakes and I got it together. I want me and you to move forward as father and son. I want me and you to move forward as father and daughter. I want to be in your life. Now, I ain't got a lot, but guess what? I know a lot. Because if you're a man and you're a father, please know you know something that child don't know. You have information. You have experience. That's all they need sometimes is to have somebody to talk to. That daughter of yours just needs to know from her daddy, how should a man treat me, dad? What should I look for in a man? See, they'll take that information from you because they know it's coming from the right place. And then you know that your son needs you. Because you know how difficult it is if you're trying to be a man without your daddy. You already know how funky that is right there. So come on, man. Admit your mistakes and move forward. Call your kids. Write a letter. Get a phone number on them. Send a text. Drop a message. Send a note up to the school. Do something, man. If those of us that are fathers would just be fathers, I could shut the mentoring camp. Now, I would say I apologize because I don't want you to think I'm coming down on you, but I've been through this myself. I ain't really coming down. I'm just reminding you. This is our job. These are our children. This is our responsibility. We are men. There is no excuses. You, you, don't, get, you don't get cut a break on that one. Sorry. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, trapeze artists, monkey trainers, lion tamers, zoologists, people that work with plants, herbologists, legal herbs, and illegal herb users. This is the Steve Harvey Morning <laughs> Show. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Steve Harvey. <laughs> Church saying, man. Hey, hey man. man. Shirley Strawberry. Good morning, Steve. I think you covered everyone with that one. Yeah. It's going to be a good one today. Uh, Carla mm-hmm. Pharrell. Happy Friday. That's right. Never mad on a Friday. What up, Steve? What's up, Junior? Morning, Unc. Covered everybody with that one. I'm with Shirley. Mm-hmm. Legal and illegal. Yeah. <laughs> ain't, 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 ain't nobody here but us. Yeah. That could be plenty of room good. to stretch today. I could be ignorant. I don't know. I think he's going to make it. Oh, come on now. Don't oh. tease me. Don't oh. tease me. Oh, no. Girl, I don't think I'm going to let you down today. I love that girl. I okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> See, when Jay ain't here and Tommy ain't here, that's too much room. <laughs> yeah. I stretch out. Yes. Wildin'. With the quickness. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All, All right. right, everybody good? Well, how are you today? feeling today? You know, yeah. I'm good, man. I'm good. You know, today mm-hmm. I leave today. Go get on the plane heading to Cairo today. Egypt? Yeah, and I'll be there tomorrow or Illinois. night at 11. No, okay. don't go to Egypt. That's yes, Cairo. <laughs> no, Cairo, <laughs> <know>. that's syrup. <laughs> Somebody yeah, asked too. me, yeah. you know, about traveling. Was I concerned about the coronavirus? Yeah, I was about to ask you that. Yeah. And my response to the coronavirus is this. What? What? I had eaten chitlins for 35 years. What does that mean? What the hell is Corona going to do to me? (laughs) That chitlins ain't done. (laughs) If you done ate chitlins for 35 years, you have a built in antibiotic system. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's some stuff that cannot That's affect a stretch. Me. No, really, it can't. If you can eat chitlins for 35 years, what that is long? the coronavirus for? Mm. <laughs> what you scared for? Boy, boy, <laughs> I ate chitlins. For, for some of our millennials, you know, Steve, that listen to the show, please explain chitlins. Hog and Okay, all right. No, it's pig chitlins. guts. I know. Uh, yeah. Pumpkin pie. Some people think it's a delicacy, though. It is in France. You know, in France, you can buy uh-huh. it. It's a delicacy. Mm-hmm. I can tell you right now, it ain't a delicacy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does it smell like a delicacy? It's some ignorant <laughs> ass slave taught behavior that we should have gotten out of a long, long time ago. And I held on for 35 years. Almost 40. Some with some hot sauce mm. and cornbread is delicious. Yeah, I, so I have no fear of Corona, cause I've eaten a lot of chips. <laughs> All right, Steve. Uh, coming up, your favorite segment on this Friday. It's called Ask Steve. And uh, we're going to do that uh, coming up at 32 minutes after the hour, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, Steve, it is time for Ask Steve, your favorite segment on the show. Uh, we're going to ask you questions, the crew. Hey, Shirley. And, uh, Shirley. Yeah. Could you remember to keep your damn question short? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, go ahead. Touche, uh-huh. Steve. Touche. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Steve, here's a question for you. Uh, um, KFC has a uh, new item on their menu. It's two glazed donuts uh, with a piece of fried chicken between them. Delicious. Um, <laughs> It looks so good. I just wonder, will you be one of the ones that will uh, partake in in that new um, menu well, item at KFC? What do you if think? If I wanted a heart attack, like <laughs> within, by, by, by Christmas, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, I ate it. I, ate it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't I understand. Gotta try it. But you know so what? Good. I know mm. it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's got it's, to I, so good. Damn it, no, it's good. Uh huh. But probably won't have that in Cairo, so at least I won't get it this weekend. 
I think okay. I'm going to get it this weekend, but I may not eat the whole thing. I do want to taste it. You know, that's going to be hell, especially if you got big lips. Mm-hmm. You're going to have glaze and grease on your lips. You need to think about that. All y'all with lips like mine. Glaze. Careful. Glaze and glaze grease and on your grease. damn lips. Greasy glaze. <laughs> Gra- ah, glaze got corona! <laughs> Steve, yeah, you Steve. know, it's how black people, they, they, black people don't even know what Corona is yet, but if you look any country, <coughs> uh, oh, hell no. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no, the hell you just didn't right. call? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where your mask at? <laughs> yeah. Next question. <laughs> All right, come on, Junior, you got one. All right, Unc, I'm having a situation. I think you probably an expert at this. Yeah. Uh, Somebody owe me some money, right? Oh, hell yeah, I've been there that many times. Go ahead. Yeah, and uh, I just want to know, um, back in the day, what was probably the craziest thing you've done to get your money back? Set on his porch. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Set on his porch, because even if you come out the back door, you got to come around front. Because he had a German <laughs> shepherd next door, so he couldn't climb the fence and go down the street. So I knew his ass had to come mm. around here. I sat around the porch. Now, I still ain't get my money. Oh, uh-huh. but we fought, though. Y'all had a fight? <laughs> Dog, he owed me a dollar? Uh, one dollar. Oh, one uh, dollar. Uh, no. Are you kidding, Steve? Dog, uh. dog in 71, a dollar. Pardon wow. up. It was a lot. A dollar? <laughs> and then you said you give it to me Friday. It's Saturday. it's Monday? I ain't got my money yet? Yeah. Oh, no, partner. No, <laughs> me and your ass finna throw hands. Ooh. Oh, okay. Over okay. a dollar. Okay, oh, it meant something dollar. to you back then. Dog, it was it. everything. A dollar back then? was equivalent to what right now, buy? that uh-huh. dollar, the equivalent to about 500000 right now. What? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say like $10 yeah, I or something. going to say $20 right. yeah. no. something. 500000 no. 500000 no. Steve. That dollar <laughs> meant something to me back then. <laughs> I'm talking so about, man, I didn't have that dollar is like owing you 500000 now. Today. You say. Okay. Today. You're not going to wow. let it slide. Now, I'm not going to jump on you about this money today because I can't. But back then, mm-hmm. so one of us is getting our ass whooped today about this dollar. The one dollar. You know, and I didn't really do well in the fight either. Mm. I really can't say I won the fight. Mm. But mm-hmm. somebody uh, today be told. is getting their ass whooped about this dollar today. Mm-hmm. And I mean mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, you ready for my wow. question? I'm I just ready. Yeah. yeah. Come on, okay. Colin. What set of items could you buy that would make the cashier the most uncomfortable at a store? Ooh. <laughs> you ready to say something? Baby crazy. oil. <laughs> See? <laughs> Condoms. <laughs> what else? And a pacifier. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in that on. line is going to be on cover. <laughs> well, you, you Everybody, in, li- Everybody in line going to start itching. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> scratching their chin. Why is this grown ass man got some baby awesome condoms and a pacifier? <laughs> but I got on a tank right. top, so it ain't no baby nowhere around. Right. <laughs> You got on a tank top and some flip flops. But hold up, but as she ringing it up, ma'am, could you hear up? She waiting. No, 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 Dave. Everybody okay. uncomfortable then. Yeah, they're ma'am, very uncomfortable. Ma'am, could you hear up? She waiting. Mm-hmm. All right. That's funny. Let's, let's keep with the grocery store theme, Steve, please. You're in the grocery store. Uh-huh. What are your most must-have items in your basket? What do you have to have if you go to the grocery store? <sighs> If I go to the grocery store, gotta have it. Mm-hmm. I gotta have some, uh, probably some Old Bay seasoning. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. I'm gonna need a slab of baby backs. Okay. <laughs> a slab of baby backs, some Old Bay, and I'm gonna need mm-hmm. uh some aluminum foil. So you put the seafood seasoning on the ribs? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh. No. What? No, they go on the corn. Oh. That I'm oh. have with the oh. ribs. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 So that's your meal. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good answer. Come Junior, on. Junior, you got one more? Come on, Junior. One more. All right. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh-huh. 
you can fill in right now for one of your favorite bands. If the lead singer of a band went down right oh, now, God, and you can oh. step in, God, you can God. step in and not Come miss on. a beat. What right band now, the lead singer living today, Frankie, yeah. Beverly, and May. If I <laughs> stand in with May. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, bless man. your heart now. <laughs> one, two, oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> do, do, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, I know y'all can sing too now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nephew Tommy's out today, but Junior is in, and we're going to run that prank back right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour. Is he still singing Frankie Beverly from the last break? Still singing. Come on, Junior, what you got? Yeah, hear the prank, everybody. Redip. Redip. Run it, cat. Hello? Hello, uh, I'm trying to reach uh, Pastor Henry. Oh, this is Pastor Henry. Oh, how are you doing, sir? You, you the oh. pastor of uh, Greater New Hope Baptist, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, yes, I am. My ass who's calling? Uh, my, my name is Patrick. My name is Patrick Davis. Uh, uh, I, I doing, went Patrick? there. I, how you doing, sir? I, I went there uh, to your church about a, about two and a half years ago. I went there, and, and me and oh, my okay. wife, we got, yeah, we got our kids baptized there at your church. Oh, so, are you coming back to us, or are you? Uh, uh, what's well, your current well, church home? Well, well, we haven't we haven't been in a minute, you know. But you 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 baptized my 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 son and my daughter, uh, Kareem and Kareem. Right. You, okay. you baptize them. I don't. I don't think you. I mean, I'm sure you do a lot of people, but yeah, I was about to say I do a lot. I can't really pinpoint a name like that. You said it was about a couple of years ago, two, three. Yeah, years? About, about, about two and, between two and between two and three years ago, you you baptized my my little girl and my and my son. Well, God bless on that. I mean, I'm glad I was able to do that service for you. I was wondering, uh, how how'd you get my number? Uh, usually, uh, any any things like this usually get handled with the church. You know, one of my deacons or my secretary, but uh. Uh, did oh. you um, call the church and they gave you my number? Um, this this guy at the church. Let me see. His name is oh, Dobbs. Man. Dobbs, brother, brother Dobbs, brother, brother Dobbs gave you my phone number. My information, brother Dobbs. I got this from brother Dobbs that I okay. can reach you. I can reach you now. You you know him, right? He he's one of your deacons. A, a yeah, brother he, that's I, 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 he's, that's a good man right there. I've known him many a year. Okay, so here's my reason for wanting to talk to you directly. Uh, okay. Like, like I said, you baptized my little girl, Taylor, and my son, Kareem. What, what is baptizing is supposed to be? You cleansing them and you washing them. Right. Okay, uh, here's me... my problem. Here's my problem. You baptized my kids, but ain't nothing changed. They, they grades still bad. I'm, I'm, they still I'm, disobedient. Brother, uh, I don't see where your baptism done anything. Hold on, let brother me say Davis. this now. Look, but, but, but if you don't pass him, you, if you, him, if you just let me what? finish, I don't see where your baptizing has done anything. Therefore, Brother all David, the ties and I stuff that I spent when I was there, okay. I want that money back. <laughs> now, now, okay, now you confuse me. I'm, I'm not sure. If, I think you know we need to stop this madness right now because you're, you're talking about your money back. Uh, I baptize. I, I'm, I, I I'm more than likely to baptize your kids. I've been at this church for for many years, so I, I won't doubt. That I'm probably the the, the pastor you, you're looking for, but I just don't understand what you're trying to get at here about the baptism. Did, did I, I'm I'm saying you're supposed to when when, when people get baptized, it's supposed to change okay. them. Am I right or wrong? A cleansing. Okay, I see. Yes, cleanse but, them. But but my kids. Are you, no, let me let me my, ask you. I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to brother. Bro, I'm just just trying to get to the bottom of this. You know, I mean, because like I said, when we get my to, church the usually of handles this. I still don't understand bottom, how you listen, got my number. Listen, the bottom of it is, yo, yo, baptizing ain't doing nothing. My kids well, still grade bad. They still disobedient. Well, yo, is yo, is that why they haven't been coming to that? church? You said you're not going to any congregation. Maybe you guys need to come on back to church, sit in on some sermons. You know, I even work with you one on one, but. Um, I can't, I can't do nothing about the grades in school. I mean, and 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 well, and overall well, behavior. Well, that starts. Well, you, when you have if, baptized if you like, them, I should the, see a change in them, and I don't see a change. But all the time well, I was going to your church, I'm paying for these tithes, well, and I'm not getting you, anything. Sir. Hey man, I'll, at the end of the Dave, day, Pastor Henry, I want my money back. That's what that's what we have at the end that, of the that's day. Not, well, so that's, brother Davis, that's not how it works, brother. You hit, you understand? 
I, I, I'm not. I'm not trying to raise my voice at you, but you, you're all over. The, you're all over the place. You want money back? You, I, I don't understand. What, what can I do for you? I, I can tell you now. I told you what you can do. My kids, I done, I done got them baptized over there with you. All that time I was going to your church, I'm paying knee tithes, paying knee tithes, paying knee tithes. And I get my kids baptized. And, and but the tithes don't have up. nothing to do with the, the baptism. The tithes have something to do with all the time I spent over there, and I'm not getting oh. anything in return. Brother, and right. that's what you call How, the how in the world am I going to figure out how much tithes you pay? Oh, I know exactly. Did you, did you ever think about that? Minutes. I know exactly. How no, many no, 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 no. You're calling my phone with this nonsense. You're not even a, 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 a member on, of my congregation, and I, I just don't like it. So, Pastor, let me ask you this. Who do you think you're raising your voice at, Pastor? Just because you you're a man of the cloth don't mean that. that, that, that just because that I'm a man of God don't mean I can't cut your ass out. You understand that, brother? If it's something you need to deal with, you need to talk to the people at the church. Why do I need to talk to Brother Dobbs when I'm talking because to the problem? I do not I'm talking to the problem right now. You're the problem, Pastor. Oh, you're oh the I'm problem. the problem. I just spent a bunch of tithe money, and I want, I know exactly how much I spent over there, and I want my money back. Brother, f- how about that? That's what I care about, your tithe. How Say about what? that? I said, f- your tithe. Want me to spell it out? Oh, well, here come Pastor. Are your kids look going here, to school and spell that? I bet they know how to spell it. Oh, okay. Don't okay. be calling me about no damn behavior issues with your kids. So are you baptized? That's the question you need to be asking. Is you living your life sanctified, huh? You, you, you know what? You know what, brother? I, I didn't got out beside myself, and I'm sorry, brother. I, I should not be using foul language against you. I think what's going on, we need, to, we need to get you and your children, your wife, come on down to service on Sunday. I will sit with you as long as I can. I, I, truly, I, mean, I, I truly think counseling and talk is the only way out of this. Yeah. We, we, we yeah. should not be fighting on this phone. Yeah, yes, yes, sir. Uh, now, once again, I, I hope you accept my apology for my language. Yes, now, yes, sir. Now, can I ask yes, you something? Now, go ahead, son. I can hear you. Okay. Brother Dobbs tells me that you and him are together. Take your some, time. Y'all together some mornings having coffee. You and Brother Dobbs are every morning that that I'm not at either a, a function or doing something for the building maintenance with the church. Yeah, we, we definitely. He's a good brother. Like I told you, I've known him for many years. Right, right. And he said now when y'all having coffee, that y'all y'all listening to the radio. Is, 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 is that right? Yeah. Well, I suppose. Do y'all be listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show? Yeah, it's always on the radio. <laughs> hey, Pastor. What's so fun? This is, nep- this is Nephew Tommy, man, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Brother Dobbs just got me to prank phone call you. you no! Know. <laughs> oh. No, wait, wait. Let's do it. So Brother Dobbs knew about this. He the one gave me your number. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too scared to cuss another word or say anything <laughs> out of my character. I didn't think I didn't did enough for a lifetime today. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm I'm probably as real as they come, and I, I tell my congregation all the time. I even slip up, so I think it would only be right if you if you play. <laughs> Let me ask you something, man. What is the baddest? And I'm talking about the baddest. It's 20. Oh, baby. man, Come you on, already man. know, man. The Steve what? Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Boy, that was a good one. Yeah. I like that, Pastor. Because you yeah. know what I liked about him? Because he real. He just yeah. kept it real. He was real. Hey, man, yeah. I mm-hmm. apologize for my language. Man. I apologize. For I came outside myself. We shouldn't be on this phone fighting. Why don't y'all man. come on down to the church and let's talk? But. I don't give a Blank about your <laughs> man. What pastor said, pastor. Hey man, your black ass calling me. Hey, hey, ain't got time for this, man. Yeah, that was man. Ooh, that was good. That was a good one. Tommy, the that pastor. <laughs> Coming up at the top of the hour, we'll have some entertainment and national news for you right after this. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. As we previously told you, Lil Boosie shared his opinions and thoughts about Dwayne Wade and his daughter Zaya, who recently came out as transgender. Boosie got a backlash for his uh, comments. However, Boosie feels that everyone has a right to their own opinion. Well, Boosie's mom reached out to her son after she saw his video (laughs) on Instagram and told Boosie... (laughs) Quote, stay off social media. <laughs> oh, Big Boosie got involved. <laughs> That's their family, and you need, to, you need to stay out of other people's business. 
Boosie also said he got kicked out of the Planet, Planet Fitness gym because of the controversy. He wanted people to boycott Planet Fitness. Boosie said he felt like everyone was ganging up on him. So, I mean, you know, and probably a lot of people were, you know, they didn't okay, like what I he said. Okay, can I tell you something? What? Yeah. The other day, what? Mm-hmm. I saw Bootsy at the Louis Vuitton on Rodeo. Oh, for real? In L.A., yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. In uh-huh. real life. And I uh-huh. thought uh-huh. I, I couldn't He's quite place life. him, uh-huh. but I looked mm-hmm. at him, and then I was with my assistant to beat it. I said, Beatty, who was that dude right there? He said, oh. Mr. H, that's that's Lil Boosie. I went up to him, I said, Lil Boosie. He said, oh, OG, man, a real honor to meet you. <laughs> I said, man, <laughs> man, I, can I hug you? He said, for real? <laughs> I said, yeah, man, you my dude. I said, can't really comment on what you said, but I just want to <laughs> put my arms around you, man. I said, one yeah. thing about it, you funny to me. Your ass is funny to me, man. That little dude right here. And if I found out he was from Baton Rouge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I yeah. didn't know he was from Baton Rouge, but you could hear it in him. He oh, was a yeah. cool little dude, you know. You know, we all make mistakes. Yeah. We say stuff we shouldn't say Yeah. all yeah. the time. These he was cats, just stating his appointment, the opinion, yeah. Right. But, you know, said. look, mm-hmm. look, even your opinion can be wrong sometimes, oh, you know. Oh, yeah. And you just yeah. have to understand that. But I I, I felt for it, man, because I know what it feel like. I told him, keep hanging in there, oh, man. Yeah. Be strong. He's a good brother, yeah. man. Because he just got in trouble with the cap shirt, didn't he? Just oh, got yeah, yeah, he did. No, he been yeah. on social media so with Lil the cap shirt. That ain't bothering me. I'm about to give damn. Well, <laughs> listen to your mom, Lil Boosie. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Somebody had on cap shirt. What? 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 Says the Omega Man. What? What? Tommy go get you when he gets back. Man, I don't cap. give a damn because he had on noob shirt. Oh God! Yo, y'all, y'all out here, y'all out here strolling to his song. He just thought he could wear a noob shirt. Uh, <laughs> y'all know what the process is now. You giving him out here, anyway. Listen to your mama, little Boosie. <laughs> Stay yeah, on man. social media and Y'all know uh, what's happening family. now. You're passing out shirts anyway. Well, give Boosie one. Kappa's going to get you. Stay out the business. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Hold on, Shirley. Kappa's going to do what mm-hmm. to me? I said they were going to get you. Girl, let Carla. me explain uh-huh. to you. Them noobs know who I am. Oh, they got Them noobs know who I'm with. I'm safe and sound. I'm tucked in the arms of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Bring the Lord out when it's convenient, yeah. right? No, well, 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 and if, and if they don't believe that, you can't come over here because I got friends. Lord Jesus, I got friends. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Lord, I got friends. I swear, I swear to y'all, I got friends. They love me from far and wide. From Ghana to Dubai, we got a new chapter in Dubai. We got a chapter in Ghana from the East Coast to the West Coast. I am self-proclaimed. Listen to this. Purple and gold, here we go. I am (laughs) self-proclaimed as I sit on this radio, the most famous Q on this (laughs) earth right now. That dog is a hard (laughs) argument for anybody. Now, Jordan is a Q. Yeah, Shaq. But oh, hey, Shaq ooh. is a Q. They don't, Shaq, they don't fool yeah. with him like they fool with me, though. Okay. Now, Shaq, Shaq's deep. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Jordan deep. They all frat bros. Mm-hmm. But Steve Harvey. <laughs> it's a mess. Cy Gamma is the most single globally famous Q in this earth today. Wow. Ask and, uh, Ricky yeah. Smiley. Oh, gosh. Hey, Ricky Smiley, hey. tell him now. <laughs> tell him, young Q, who's the most famous Q? Ask Tom Joyner. <laughs> oh, they all got to tell it. Oh, hell no. That's because so that's because they took each other place. Because them two together, he, he, I still am. That's all I got to say. <laughs> you know, under respect that about me. Huh. Hey, man. Oh, All right, ha. you had your, you've had your say, baby. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I flexed this morning. 
Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Little Boosie started I know. It. Yeah, Little Boosie. <laughs> I, I'm having, Steve Harvey's having a Little Boosie moment. Yeah. <laughs> like right now, right, like right now, as a cue, I feel like Little Boosie and Lil Duval all wrapped into one. I'm saying what I want to say, and I'm living my best life. Oh, man. <laughs> I ain't going back and forth with these capos. I'm living my best life. <laughs> all right, Crazy. now, in all seriousness, all right. much love to the noobs out there. All respect. That's a cold frat. Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, 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 for real. The noobs are strong. Ain't no K-A-S-I. joke. K-A-S-I. That's cool. They serious with it. Uh-huh. All respect. Mm-hmm. Just messing with y'all. I, what I said well, was see, true, though. <laughs> <laughs> Go right back to it? Yeah, I couldn't help her. I'm trying to be humble, but I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Ask Ricky Smiley. Genius. Crazy. Ah! Uh, boy. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's really well, coming it. up, coming up at 20 minutes after the hour, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi visited Chinatown. We'll talk about it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. In trending news, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi toured San Francisco's Chinatown on Monday to send a message. Well, Steve, she said there's no reason tourists or locals should be staying away from the area because of the coronavirus concerns. Uh, That's what we're doing. That's what we're trying to do today is to say everything is fine here, Nancy Pelosi said. Come because precautions have been taken. The city is on top of the situation. Pelosi did say she was concerned that President Trump's budget cuts, uh, 19 percent of funding for the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. However, as we told you before, President Trump says Americans should rest assured that he'll do whatever is necessary to keep people protected from the coronavirus. He says he's also uh, ready to send or, or to spend whatever is needed to do that. The president called the risk low, crediting travel restrictions in place. He also point, uh, put Vice President Mike Pence in charge of the response. The number of national cases has jumped to 60. At last check, just over 82,000 people have been infected by the virus worldwide. 2,800 people have died. Significant numbers there, 82,000. Wow. Yeah. That's a, that's Ooh, you a just serious. have to yeah, take precaution and be very, very careful. They're yeah. telling you to wash your hands a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, yeah. wash your hands. Be careful. I mean, that's one traveling. of the things you can do. Just be careful. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm getting on this plane today. So. Yeah. So how you feel? Mm-hmm. Traveling internationally and everything. I, I, I'm, I'm a child of God. I'm covered. Amen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel no man but God. I mean, I'm gonna be careful. Mm-hmm. I mean, what I, yeah. I see yeah, somebody he's, coughing. He's I'm gonna get well their ass put off the plane. Yeah. Oh, oh, so there is a plan. Oh, you're getting place. your ass off the plane. <laughs> no, if you cough or sneeze, you're off this damn plane. Especially <laughs> sneeze, yeah. Yeah, you better wait till we're at 45,000 feet or something. Because you do it on the ground. If we taxi it and you cough, your ass gets off this plane. <laughs> I don't care if I hear it from way in the back. <laughs> come on, let's go. Oh my God. Dr- Dr- seat 44 seat. Come on. How are we still on the air? How? Let's roll. Roll out. I heard your ass coughing. Let's go. <laughs> my goodness. Got no time I'm, for I've this. I've been working with this man for 20 years. How? Oh, I'm the only one heard the cough. Oh, I'm the only one. <laughs> let's That's go. Crazy. All right, so Steve, you got him off the plane. Now you can rest easy and go back to sleep. Yeah, oh, he's coming off the plane. Till you get to Cairo. All right, well, listen, Steve, um, coming up at 34 minutes after the hour, you're going to read another email we got from a listener right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. So, Steve, it was this time yesterday that you read a letter from a listener. Uh, She was coming for you because of a response you gave in the strawberry letter. Uh, the previous day concerning a man who wanted to divorce his wife because she had recently become a Trump supporter. All right. Well, we got a response to the response from the response. <laughs> so you have it from the email. Yeah, I was going through, through the uh, Steve Harvey film, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I ran across some emails because 
you know, like for me, I just mm-hmm. responded. I ain't even getting mad yesterday at the lady's response, but I mean, what you want me to do? You know, I tell jokes for a living. You know, a lot of people don't know that I was a stand-up because they just know me from Family Feud stuff, but this is what I've been doing. And so mm-hmm. I was just happened to be going through the emails and, well, I mm-hmm. found a bunch of them. Look Most of them I can't uh-huh. read on the air. because Steve Harvey Nation came to my defense but just let me grab one or two of them here Steve Shirley Mm -hmm. fool number one and fool number two Carla and Junior Mm -hmm. (laughs) enjoy the damn day and continue blessing and uplifting your listeners I usually don't get involved in things people say in regards to the strawberry letter they are entertainment and should be taken as such This one seemed to bother me more than I would have expected. (laughs) Not the letter itself, but the response of this Republican lady slash family. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think she's an undercover Republican trying to hide in plain sight. Why else would she defend him as she has? He fired people who leaked info. He's a great politician. What the hell has she been doing since this tweetologist made his appearance? Look here, lady. Uncle Steve. I'm a tweetologist. Yeah, look here, lady. Uncle Steve, parentheses, if I may, uh, in this instance, uh, nephew and Shirley have no reason to prepare an apology. I'm not saying that I want you to lose any listeners, but I don't think eight monkeys will stop this show. The next time somebody writes in with this foolishness, oh. I'll be screaming the same thing with you. Leave her ass. Leave her ass. <laughs> Up there on national radio with this BS. Listen, laugh, and appreciate. That's what she should have done. Okay. Ah. And so for A response those to the response of the it, response. The mm-hmm. lady responded to the strawberry letter because she was mad because Steve told the lady in the strawberry letter and her husband to divorce. Because the man said right. he went to see a lawyer. He think about divorcing her. Right. So yeah, I right. said she was caused Go ahead, Shirley. Problems in at home. No, she was causing major problems at home. She was spending money donating mm-hmm. to the Trump campaign. She mm-hmm. had joined the Black Republicans. She was just acting crazy. He didn't like the fact that she spent the money, and sh- he told her, she told him if he didn't like it, he could leave. So she started it. Then he saw a lawyer uh, to talk about divorce because he didn't want to deal with it. This is an election year. He knew he was going to have to hear this all the way, all the year throughout uh, November. So he didn't want to deal with it. And so me not caring, I said divorce her ass. Why? Because I don't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a strawberry letter. If you really... <laughs> Man, half the time I answer these letters is for entertainment value. Mm-hmm. Usually 85% True. True. of the letters I respond to is just for entertainment value. Only time I take serious is when a young young man, boy, teenager call in and want some advice, or a young girl. Yes. Because, you know, a lot, mm-hmm. lot of people that, you know, may not have a father or uncle or something, so I got to play a different role. But if you're grown and y'all in y'all 50s and she putting Trump signs up in your yard and you taking them down and she putting Ooh, them back yeah. up and she done told you she want to leave you, leave her ass. Well, I can <laughs> You said it again. You doubling down, huh? No. <laughs> Trump, Trump doesn't apologize. apologize. <laughs> Trump done more right, than broke up, up home. Trump done broke up families. <laughs> coming up at the top of the hour, Trump right about two minutes babies after. Babies from their mamas. What I care about <laughs> him leaving her ass. Coming up next, Steve, the prank co- phone call. The nephew is not here. Junior's here, though. We'll get into it right after this. Huh? You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. The subject, my love life took an ugly turn. Wait till you guys hear this letter. <laughs> right now, wow. nephew's out, junior's in with today's, yeah, the guys. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nephew's out, junior's in with today's prank phone call. What do you have for us today, junior? Uh, oh, I got to do it as a nephew. Uh, you know, with all my brilliant prankedness, uh-huh. today's prankedness. title prank is mm-hmm. Lent. Mm. You know, it's that time of year. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. It's yeah. Wednesday, yeah. yeah. Don't matter to me, I'm pranking in it. Lent. <laughs> Run it, cat. Hello? Hey, I'm trying to reach Dorsey. 
Yeah, this is he. Who is this? This is Cliff, man. I work at the post office with your wife. How you doing, brother? I'm doing all right. Everything cool? Yeah, everything good, man. Everything good. Um, like I say, uh, my name is Cliff, man. I wanted to reach out and holler at you about a couple of things if you if you got a minute. You got a minute? Yeah, is everything all right with my wife? Is something wrong or something? No, 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 no. Your wife good, man. Your wife good. I wanted to hit you up, man. We've been working at the post office quite a while. We've probably been in the same room a few times, man. I don't know if you, you remember meeting me or not, but... Uh, oh, okay, okay. But what I wanted to say, man, is is uh, trying to do better with my life, dog. And, you know, just just trying to do better. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, for for Lent, man, I, I gave up a few things. You know what I'm saying? I, I just thought that would be a, a, a good thing, man, to try to... The, the things that matter the most... Uh, or that you're addicted to, you know, you want to get rid of. You know what I'm saying? At least for Lent is what I'm trying to do. You feel me? Okay. I'm kind of confused, but what they, what they got to do with me? Well, basically, man, I'm, 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 I'm giving up for Lent. You know, I decided to give up uh, messing around with your wife, you know, because, because. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. I'm at work. I don't know what you talking about, but back up and rephrase everything you just said. Well, like I say, man, for Lent, I'm trying to I'm trying to give up stuff that I'm that I'm addicted to, you know. And I just okay, but what that got to do with me and my wife though, and you? Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to give up messing around with your wife for Lent. I mean, that's what I have given up. I've given up messing around with your wife for Lent. Man, what? The talking about man messing around with my wife man ain't got no time for no games right now who the is this man like I what's, say, your, this what's, your, what's your name again this is cliff man i, I actually worked with her for the last 10 12 years but but what i wanted to really let you know is you know her schedule probably gonna change because what we used to be doing we ain't doing so she's probably gonna be coming home a little bit earlier or things like that but i don't, I don't want you getting addicted to it because you know after lynn is over then you know we'll be back what we used to do man what the is you talking about, man? Hold on, my, my wife's gonna be home in a minute. We're gonna talk about all this shit here with me, man. I'm about to. Hold on, what? What? Are you? Are you in the city right now? Can I? Can I meet with you right now, Cliff? Right? Okay. Okay. But what I'm, what I'm trying to say, well, like you know, I'm saying, I'm trying to do better. You know, I'm, I gave up. You trying to do little... better? That sounds like a bunch of to me. I got something for you and my wife. This is true. Okay. Okay. Okay, man. I mean, ain't you feeling me? Though I'm trying to do better, though. I ain't feeling the. Thing. You calling me, telling me my wife. I think we need to meet up and talk about this face to face, Cliff. Oh, what you think? I mean, we we can talk right now if you want to have a conversation. Nah, nah, nah. You just uh, tell me your address, and uh, me and my wife finna just come on over there. How about that? And we we all sit down and have a little powwow. I don't know who the think you is, man, but me and my wife been together over 15 years, and we ain't never had no problems with no like this, like the you telling me on this phone it sounds like a bunch of crazy to me but somebody net going today if this is true so what you need to do you need to tell me your name your number and i don't know why you call from this block phone number you hear me hey man i'm hearing you man I, what i'm saying the reason for the call was to let you know you know don't get used to her schedule because after lent it's gonna be back to the way it used to be that's all the phone call man what the f is you talking about well, get no, nah, no. Nah, well, what's your, what's your, what's your, what's your last name, Cliff? I'm finna come find you. I'm finna come see you now, Jack. My name is Cliff. Like I say, I work at the, Cliff. And I work at the post office with. So okay, well, how come you call from a block number, Cliff? What's your phone number, man? Hey, 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 man. Listen, I'm not trying to have no confrontation with you, man. It's already a confrontation. You can call my phone from a block number. I don't know you. You don't know me, and you telling me you been my wife. Are you serious? Did you know she was married? Well, I mean, what you mean? Did you know she was married? Yes or no? I mean, yeah, I, knew, I mean, yeah, I knew she was married. Okay, well, there it is. You knew that from the jump, so that means you've been disrespecting me from the jump. So now I got to get in your mind. You just been told off on yourself. So irregardless, I'm coming to see you today, Jack. Hey, and, and my name ain't Jack, man. My name Cliff. But you're not. Hey, I'm not. Okay, well, come, look here, like Cliff. I, said, I don't have no. Huh? I'm not trying to have no confrontation. I just wanted you to be aware of the schedule. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely aware <laughs> now, Cliff. Who the hell is you, hey, man? Hey, man. Another thing, man. Is I want to say this here. Like I, I know, I know your tattoo on uh, your name on her lower back. I seen that. Uh, it say Dorsey what? right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. 
Hold on, man. You telling me you didn't seen the tattoo on her back? Is that what you telling oh, me? On her lower back, man. Right, 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 right on above her tailbone. Yeah, I seen it. Dorsey, your name Dorsey, right? Man, who the f is this, man? What's your real name? Hey, man, hey, dog. Calm down, man. Are you are you cool with the now, schedule change? Calm down. You call my phone. Are you cool with the schedule changing? Is what I'm asking. What? Are you cool with her schedule changing? You see what I'm saying? Her schedule gonna come back to normal. Once Lent is over with, I gave up messing around with her for man, Lent, but not for help. I'm not cool with a thing. I'm about to be cool in your face in a minute. Now tell me your name, tell me your number, and your real address, and we're going to talk about all this in person. Okay. All right. What? What? My name. What's my, your name? My, uh, I'm a, my name Tommy, man. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Tell me what? T I mean, I mean, why you need my last name? Because I'm finna come see you. What you mean, why I need your last name? Hold on, hold on. Somebody get Angie on the phone. Hey, hold on, don't go nowhere. We finna get Angie on the phone right now, and we gonna settle this right now. Hold on. Get on the phone. Call her. Call her. For real. Yeah. Tommy who? What you scared of? Okay, man, they call me Nephew Tommy. Oh, who? My name Nephew Tommy. <laughs> From Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> she done set me up, man. Man, your wife got me to prank call you, man. She texted you, said, I left, I just left the house. Call him now. Uh, uh, that's why <laughs> ain't answering the phone. If it was over for you, man. Y'all, come on, man. Y'all wrong for this, man. This need to be against the law, man. Hey, man, I got to ask you, baby, what's the baddest radio show in the land, man? The Steve Harvey Morning Show, <laughs> I guess. Huh? <laughs> okay. Betty, Lynn. Just messing That's with a good me. one for yeah, Lynn. Hey, Junior. What's up, huh? I done found another email. Okay, here we go. What? He talking about that's a good one. I was one. wondering yeah, that's, a good, that's a good prank, Tommy. He ain't here. I found <laughs> <Yeah>. another email. <laughs> this is in response to the lady... They got mad at me because I told the man to divorce the lady that kept putting the Trump signs up in the yard. They married. He tired of them anyway. Mm. This lady said, I listen to your show every morning here in Savannah, Georgia. Even something, now I'm going to read it just like it's written, y'all. Even okay. something twice. I am responding to the letter lady that wrote in and said she and six more listeners don't listen to your show no more. Well, mm. I'm with you. Who give a damn if she and the other don't listen to your show? Well, maybe they're upset because they husband left they funky ass because they support <laughs> Trump. And little did they know, Trump don't give a rat's about them anyway. So with that being said, how they feel and what they eat don't make you or me sugar honey iced tea anyway. So I hope somebody run and tell them a good listener of show said, we don't give a flying rat's about either. <laughs> Man, thank y'all for just having these rich moments for me. Coming up uh, next, it is the strawberry letter for today. We'll get into it. Subject, my love life took an ugly turn right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Time now for today's Strawberry Letter, Stephen. If you need advice on relationships, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your Strawberry Letter to steveharveyfm.com and click Submit Strawberry Letter. Anything you want to add to that, Steve? Yeah. Here go another <laughs> email I found right quick. Time, <laughs> this emails. has got something to do with the Strawberry Letter. This somebody said, Steve gave his opinion. Something he gets paid to do with which he has vast experience. I would ask uh -huh. Miss Angrish, that's parentheses angry plus anguish, do you <laughs> get paid to give your opinion forth? Because Miss Anguish decided to no longer tune in to the Steve Harvey Morning Show, parentheses, which we all know is not going to last long. I will, in the meantime, tune in via my car radio and my mobile phone simultaneously. And yes. I got a Mophie case for my phone, so I got plenty of cell juice. <laughs> Thank y'all. <laughs> Steve Harvey Nation coming to get your boy. Ah. All right, it's that time. It. Come on. We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one, or your response to a letter. You never know. <laughs> just like this one right here, 
right now. All right, everybody, it's that time. It's time for the Strawberry Letter with my good friend, Shirley Strawberry. Thank you, Junior. Subject, my love life took an early and ugly turn. Dear Stephen Shirley, I have a problem, and I really need advice from the guys on the show. Okay, But, cool. Miss Shirley, but, Miss Shirley, you can take a stab at it, too. I've been single for most of my life, and I finally figured out why. I am a 28-year-old man, never married, no kids, and I own my own home. I make really good money, and I have a leadership position at my job. My problem is that I'm starting to realize that I'm not the most handsome guy in the world. Come on, Tom. Okay, dog. Anybody? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I'm not hideous. I'm not hideous, but I don't have the characteristics that attract women that I'm equally yoked with. When yeah. I meet women, uh, I feel like I should tell them everything about me just to pique their interest. I assume that if they know I'm well paid and successful, they will like me. That hasn't worked. So now I'm trying to, I'm going to try online dating. I commend the guys on the show for accepting that they're not handsome yeah, because yeah. I'm having a hard time facing the truth. Again, anybody. anybody. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay. He good. All right. But what I'm is ready he having a hard time for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I was waiting on, Steve. Come on. Get ready, go. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I am ready to date online, and I need a profile picture and a bio because the photo I posted hasn't worked at all. I am in shape, but I could stand to go to the gym. But I'm a likable guy. I've been on a day, on one date with a lady I met online, and she lied on her profile, and the picture she posted did not look <laughs> anything like her. Two ugly people talking. Uh, I never called her back after that date. I do not want to be the guy that posts a really nice profile picture online, and when I show up to meet the woman, she is disappointed. I'm well-groomed, I keep my hair cut, and I wear nice suits. But I don't get any second looks from women. I have female friends that have kept me in the friend zone for years, and now I know why. This is hurting my self-esteem to a degree. Do you think I can be lucky in love without pretending to be something I'm not? I hope you can offer advice. Hell well, yeah, first boy. of all, I, I'm here I, for you. Yeah. Come yeah, on. I got to tell you. Right, Steve. There are plenty of men who are unattractive, who have beautiful wives, Hell girlfriends, yeah, significant right others. Mm, okay, me. plenty. And, flavor Flav, for and, one. And from the sound of it, uh, you could be one of those guys. I mean, this is according to you. You have all the makings. I mean, let's go down the list. You, you, you make really good money, you said. That's definitely a plus. You have a leadership position at work. What's wrong with that? You're well-groomed. Women love that. You're well-dressed. We love that. That too, and you're not hideous, okay? You're not hideous, and you said you're a likable you guy. You don't know that, Shirley. Okay? You know what? You, what? You, you don't what? know that. that you, well, he, I said, all this I said was according to him. Uh, that's what I'm going by, <laughs> what he put in the letter, as always. Boy, he, Plenty of women, okay, he's lying. <laughs> Plenty of women would consider you uh, with those qualities, okay? We like security. We like likable guys, l leaders, cleanliness, well-dressed men who don't have right. to be the most handsome. Right. We like all of that. that that's a plus. But uh, uh, with all of this mm. you're working with, um, you just don't sound like a confident guy. You don't sound confident. Women like confident men, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, you said this is, mm -mm. you know, this is messing with your self-esteem to a to a degree. Well, you're just 28, so part of you is still trying to figure life out. Uh, you sure you, you you checked your breath and all of that? You checked all of that because we don't like that. And and the reason I didn't say that initially is because you said you're well groomed. You're you're a good groom. You're, you're well-groomed. So um, I, I just think you've got to get your confidence up. I really do. I'm going to go with that. Get your confidence up. Steve, come all on. All right, here we go. Now, first of all, brother, listen to me. I'm read, I'm talking to you as another ugly man. This go is ahead. from a dude that has struggled with his looks his entire life. See, first of all, you say you got a problem and you need advice. You, first of all, you got to get out of denial. You've been single most of your life, and I figured out why. I'm 28, never been married, no kids. I own my home. I make really good money. I got a leadership position in my job. My problem is I'm starting to realize 
that I'm not the most handsome guy in the world. You're not the most handsome guy in the world. You ain't even one of them. <laughs> See, that's what your ass got to wake up and smell this damn coffee. I'm not the Hold most on, handsome Steve. guy in the world. You ain't even one of them. Hold on, Steve. You ain't now <laughs> one of them. We'll have part two of Steve's response. He gonna wish he had to roll in three minutes. <laughs> After the hour subject, <laughs> my love life took an ugly turn. We'll get back into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, Steve, come on. Let's recap today's Strawberry Letter subject. My Boy. love life took an ugly turn. Now, me being an unattractive man, I have to tell this man that I've been in this position. So I'm talking from experience. Now, mm-hmm. I've been single most of my life, figured out why. He a 28-year-old man, never been married, no kids, got his own house, make really good money, got a leadership position at his job. My problem is I'm starting to realize that I'm not one of the most handsome guys in the world. <laughs> Boy, you ain't now one of them. <laughs> you ain't in the most handsome guys. You is now one of them. Then he said, I'm not hideous. Okay, let's stop right here, because you might yes, be. Nah. First of all, where did you get that word from? Where yeah. did you get the word, I'm not hideous? Mm-hmm. You've heard Same this before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You've heard it somewhere. Uh-huh. You've heard hideous. Hit yeah, on the state part, you're right. State no, no, no. Somebody said it to him. <gasps> Somebody said he's hideous? Hell, Hell yeah. That's why he's trying to deny it. I'm not hideous. You probably is. But now listen to me, dog. You can still be okay, but I don't have the characteristics that attract women. You got to develop the ones that attract women that I'm equally yoked with. Boy, you bet not to find a woman look like you. (laughs) I don't have the characteristics to attract women that I'm equally yoked with. You don't want a woman you equally yoked with. You want a woman to look way better than your ugly ass. When I meet women, I feel like I should tell them everything about me just to pique their interest. Okay, that's good. Most dudes do that anyway. I assume mm-hmm. that they know I'm well-paid and successful, they'll like me. Get your watch, man. Fix your watch and your shoes. Ugly dudes got to dress nice. You can't be ugly and dress regular. You, If you ugly, you got to dress exceptional. Thus explains my... My commitment <laughs> yes. to wardrobe. Exactly. I'm just trying blue to tell cheese. you, dog, Come on, blue cheese. Because blue I know cheese. my mama told me at nine, listen to me, you're not going to be an attractive man. We don't have attractive yes. men in our family. She told me when I was nine. So I never grew up thinking. She said, you're not going to be an attractive man. Look at your dad. I said, well, <laughs> damn. Well, I guess it's me. And I started liking myself for what I was. Uh-huh. Now, mm-hmm. now yeah. she said, "I'm." Go- he said, "I'm gonna try dance. online dating." I commend the guys on the show for accepting that they're not handsome. That's right. Hey, hey. So now, they what is your no ass Tommy, waiting on? Uh-uh. Tommy thinks uh, he's Tommy cute. Ass ugly too. You Tommy seen ugly ass? Tommy look like a damn turtle. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen that boyfriend? Man. He ain't got no jawline. He go from chin <laughs> straight down to his chest. <laughs> Except I, I like the guys who are accepting that they not handsome. You got to. You ain't cute. So what is Tommy you, dog? Does not. Because I'm having a hard time facing the truth. What is you having a hard time for? <laughs> Why are you mad? You ain't got a hard time facing the truth. You got a hard time facing yourself. It's because your ass is ugly. But you got to look yes. your ugly ass in that mirror and go, man, I'm strong. I'm good with uh-huh. it. I'm everything Confident, a woman yeah. look for. You yeah, gotta get your game up. See, your here, let me teach you something. Yeah. Let me teach you mm-hmm. something. Yeah. To man up, you gotta get your mind up. Mm. Manhood again, is, Steve. to get your man up, you gotta get your mind up. See, manhood yeah. is a mental state. It ain't got nothing to do with how you look. Women looking for good men all the time. Women don't even really like cute ass men. Cause they all of them is chumps. Yeah. You're a pretty ass man, more time in the mirror than you. Need a man that don't want to look at himself long so he can get his ass on out of the house and go to work. Now yeah, I'm ready to right, try man. online dating and I need a profile picture and a bio because the picture I posted hasn't worked at all. You don't have a good profile photo. <laughs> 
You know when you what? post, it better be in love. How is you going to have a good <laughs> profile photo when your ass is ugly? <laughs> Put the picture up, dog. Blur it. Just put it up. Blur it. <laughs> Blur it. Yeah. Take it out of focus. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I, it, yeah. I I'm in shape, but I could stand to go to the gym. Nah, you fat. Yeah. What? But you I'm a likable that? guy. Yeah. Uh-huh. I've been on one uh-huh. date with a lady I met online, and she lied on her profile picture. She posted and didn't look anything like her. Okay. Mm-hmm. Try that. Mm-hmm. I never called her back after the date. I do not want to be the guy that posts a really nice profile picture. Sir, you don't have a nice profile picture. What did you keep Mm-mm. talking for? Ugly ass people don't have nice profile pictures. <laughs> then when I show up to meet the woman, she disappointed. She gonna be disappointed anyway. I'm well groomed. You got to be super groomed. I keep my hair cut. I wear nice suits. You got to get baller suits, nice shirts and ties. You got to get a nice watch, man. You got to get nice shoes. You got a nice car. So they want to go see that nice ass house you got. Yeah. Yeah. And you got to act like they missing something. We got to help them up. All right, man. When I come back. Tommy, we're here. When I come back, I'm going to help you. Yeah. So you don't end up like Tommy. Being ugly your whole damn life thinking you cute. <laughs> All right. We'll be back with part three of this strawberry letter subject. My love life took an ugly turn right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, Steve, this is part three of this strawberry letter. Uh, we can recap a little See, bit. Uh, the subject is my love life took an ur- ugly turn. Yeah. Ugly yeah. ass dude, yeah. man, having trouble real coming to the uh, realization. <laughs> Say that. That's ugly. what it is, Shirley. Uh, yeah, he's up. <laughs> I know. I'm sitting here. He's up, and he need to come on. Me and Junior came to this long time ago. Junior, how long he you been? He said ugly? he's not hitting. I've been ugly since I was four. <laughs> yeah. I knew I was funny looking at four. I don't know why I took him 28 years. You they told what, me at four. He's funny looking at. Him. I was cute <laughs> up until nine when my mama said, "Stop looking in the mirror. You're not fit to be cute." He said, "Junior, oh. I love and at you. nine, so." <laughs> I've realized I've been ugly yeah. now 54 yeah. years. <laughs> and so yeah. there is one place that you're really cute. I've been ugly 30 That's place what I'm that trying to tell you, man. If you That's what I'm trying to tell How he bank, make it to 28? Somebody uh-huh. going to love you. Well, see, he he been in yeah, denial. Yeah, how make that far? So okay. we got to help years. you. So here's what you do, yeah. bro. <laughs> you got to get a nice watch. Mm-hmm. Your suit game got to get up. You got to be mm-hmm. well spoken, and you got to be a supreme gentleman. Yeah. There ain't a lady that can open yeah. the door around you. She can't nah. pump gas. She can't pay for no meals. You pulling out chairs. You walking her to the bathroom. Mm. You stand when she come back to the table. You call mm. and check on her. You text. You tweet. You do whatever you got to do. You check on it. You're sending flowers. You got to get romantic, mm-hmm. man. You got to let your mental capacity outweigh your facial tenacity. That's Ooh. it. That's the Ooh. You right there. Got Come to on let now. Your mental on, capacity yes. outweigh yes. your facial tenacity. Period. Man, it's true. You to ugly, the boy. Audacity. You ugly. <laughs> and you got to know <laughs> that. But you can't ever appear to be ugly. Walk around like you got it going on. Mm-hmm. And then, swag. you know, w- w- women going to go, you know what? He got swag. He ain't he ain't cute, but mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you yeah. what, though. Mm-hmm. He be styling. He Look at him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you see beautiful and, women with unattractive girl, men That ain't got time. nothing to do. See, stand up. Get your shoulders mm-hmm. back. Mm-hmm. Walk, man. Confidence, Carry yourself yes. with dignity. Smile all the time. Kirk Franklin said, you look so much better when you smile. Now, that ain't going to help you a lot, but you will look better when you smile. It's a start. Because you can yeah, have a... Can, grill is yeah. good. Yeah, get your teeth fixed. What mm-hmm. you cannot do yeah. is be ugly and have a ragged-ass <laughs> mouth. Yeah. you got to make sure your teeth is <laughs> kicking and smile right. a lot. See, you know, yeah, I'll huh? make all my money Thank smiling. You. If I look regular, I lose income. All right, wait a minute, guys. Hold on. Hold on. We got to take a break right here. Uh, we have part four of the, of the strawberry letter what? coming up. Uh, subject. Yeah. Yeah, part four. They, they, my love life took an ugly turn. They're trying to help this unattractive guy, Carla. You're listening 
to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Come on, Stephen Jr. You have more for this guy in the strawberry letter who says his love life took an early, uh, an ugly turn. My what? love life took an er- ugly turn. Well, surely what had worked for me with my ugliness is I have to be able to do something. Like, I have to be funny. I got to keep these jokes going. Oh, yeah. If yeah. she don't laugh that long yeah. and look at me, she'll walk away. Women mm. love a, a man yeah. with a sense of humor. Yeah, they, they stop yeah. laughing. Yeah. I've had a girl stop laughing and walk smooth off because she looked at me too long. <laughs> And I knew I was ugly since four, so I don't know how he don't know for 28 years. I've been funny looking. That's a, that's not a nice term, but I came to grips with it. But you saying, Junior, that F- he needed to learn you? how to, like, uh, do something? Been, I hope he can say? sing. I hope he can. I hope his ugly ass can sing. <laughs> I really do. Yeah. They'll stay there all day. Yeah. Look what at Uncle else? Steve. He sang all the time. Uh, yeah, that ain't good all. enough, though. These jokes is better. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. So be funny. Yeah. yeah, women love yeah. to laugh. We mm-hmm. really love to laugh. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. But if you can sing, mm-hmm. no boy, woo, with woo, boy, you talk about mm-hmm. some money you could make. Eddie Levert, come on. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> come on now, Seal. You now. Do you see Seal? Seal. Keith Sweat. Sexy, come yeah, on. You got to give it to him now. Come on. Keith, no, he ugly. <laughs> Keith, my boy. <laughs> Shout out to Keith. But no, Shout no. Out to Keith sweat is my dude. But Sweat, no. Yeah. He go on. Oh you just met him the other day, huh? No, wow. <laughs> he know, but he be getting it, man, and he had him with it. Mm-hmm. So he uh, had uh. sweat had swag. Mm-hmm. You just met him the other day, uh, Lil Boosie. Look at Lil Boosie. <laughs> no, no, you Lil just met Lil Boosie. Man. Lil Boosie ugly ass out here killing. That that's not a that's not a cute. Only chance is the only cute rapper I ever seen. Oh. Chance the Rapper. Chance. Chance the Rapper out of yeah. Chicago. He's the yeah. only cute rapper? Mm-hmm. Name yeah. another cute rapper. Well, that's, you can't. T.I. Who? T.I. Oh, Drake. Oh, Drake. T.I. Oh, y'all need, yeah. y'all need to now. stop. Y'all need to stop now. Yeah, Common. No. Stop. Common. Stop. Kanye. Stop. Come on, man. Kanye is they not They can't make it in the business if they cute. Stop. No. no. Stop. If you talented in the right amount of Listen to me. T.I. will tell you in a heartbeat he not cute. Oh, T.I. T.I. is T. I. cute as pie. I yeah. know T.I. will tell you he not cute. <laughs> yes, he don't he care is. nothing well, about that. He too much of a well, man. Well, we're telling you. We're telling you that he well, is. Well, you have to tell me. because I'm, sure, I'm sure Tiny will agree. Yeah. I'm pretty sure yeah, Tiny will, that. too. All his but kids think he, he, he cute. Hard. Yeah. Anybody he hustling grind that cute. hard is because they not cute. T.I. don't have to be cute. T.I. gangster. And and a, and and and, mm-hmm. and a hustler. Now let's stop this. Jay Z not cute. Let's stop. Let's go. Let's go Go-, now. Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane. Wait a Gucci minute Mane. now. Gucci Mane looks Gucci good Mane. now. He yeah. look good now. What was he, he before? Good. Y'all no, he need really to stop now. this. Oh, y'all quit this. It ain't no cute ass comedians. J. Anthony Brown, George Wallace, <laughs> Sandy mm-hmm. Entertainer, Earthquake, Joe Torre, Dave mm-hmm. Chappelle. Chris Rock, Martin <laughs> Lawrence, Damon Wayne. Deion Cole is cute. Do I need to go down the list? Let me Deion just keep finding up. Deion Cole is Deion cute. Deion Cole is not cute. Yes, he is. They, he, they, is. he was too cute when he put that velvet suit on. Now, they ate him I alive on that. Suit. And I thought the velvet <laughs> suit me. was fly pimp. I thought <laughs> it was too. dope. Mike Epps is cute. Mike Epps is Mike not is cute. cute. You know, Mike not Epps is Mike cute. Epps yes, look like is. somebody drunk ass uncle. <laughs> Mike Epps is not Mike cute. Epps is cute. Yes, and he is. No, he not. Yes, he is. Mike, El, none of his roles be cute. He a junkie. He play Uncle Buck. <laughs> And he my He's dude, cute. man. I, cute, he is not cute. Is cute. Joe Tory, yeah. Guy Tory. The list Eddie goes Griffin. on. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Y'all need to stop. Right here. Talking about cute ass <laughs> comedians. Just shut it down. The, the Wayans are cute. No, they ain't not on them Wayans. <laughs> we got to go. Strange looking. All right. <laughs> they strange <laughs> looking, funny, rich ass men. We'll have more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show coming up at uh, 20 I'll minutes after the hour, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 
Guys, out of the strawberry letter today, we were talking about an, just, an unattractive funny. guy. Then you got tripping. into ugly comedian. Most y'all successful tripping. people, most successful men are not cute men. You're trying to make <gasps> okay, these Kevin, people cute. Rappers Kevin, ain't cute. You Ke- talked to Kevin who? Kevin, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is cute. Yes, he is. To who? He's cute to who? Kevin Hart is Hart cute, is guys. just small. <laughs> He is not <laughs> small cute. He just small. <laughs> and you know what other rappers? I just saw. Cute, no, Nelly. listen to me. I just saw. Nelly, Nelly, Nelly just ain't cute. Who? All them Nelly. gold Nelly ass is. teeth. Shut up, Shirley. I'm sick E-I-E-I, of you. E-I-E-I, Nelly? Nah, that's just I just saw Nelly Kevin Hart at the Super Bowl. Uh, he stopped. Man, yes. give me a hug with your old ass. I said, well, come on up here with your little ugly ass. <laughs> and, Kevin is and he cute. Fighting. Get up on your toes, and then I picked him up. Uh-huh. He ain't cute. He just small. I no see you didn't disagree comedian. when we said Drake was cute. Drake, Drake is cute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Drake, now, yeah. come on okay. now. All right, there y'all go. That's y'all one go-to. That we get yeah, that he one. ain't hard. That's one y'all we want. said a bunch yeah, of them. Yeah, but he, just he ain't hard. Trouble. You got yeah, one. Common. Okay, Drake. Okay, yeah, yeah, Drake. Yeah, we get y'all and ain't cute. Comedy. Comedy. Com- yes, comedy is, is. Comedy is cute. A a man, com- Not only cute, he's sexy oh, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's oh. to y'all. Well, haters. And, and well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. we'll have more yeah. of the Steve Harvey that's Morning what we Show. Do. We hate. <laughs> at 33 minutes after right the away. hour. Please don't leave out up? nephew Tommy ugly. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. <laughs> he's so ugly, he ain't even here. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, come on, Steve and Junior, uh, if you can take a break from All right, cute and me, ugly y'all. for a minute. Yeah. Get your <laughs> pens out. Everybody, get your pens out. I'm about to make an announcement about saying it so. Get your pens out. Get your mind right. I'm about to do it. You ready? I want you to take this number down. 1-800-684-2825. This is the number. 1-800-684-2825. One more time. 800 800- 684-2825 or go to Steve Harvey saying it's old. Now listen to me. It's time to talk about the festivals. Now by now you know that you done heard about this. It's Labor Day weekend 2020. Labor Day weekend we're taking over the Hard Rock Casino in Punta Cana for an all-inclusive experience that you will not forget. But right now we are still in the month of love. So I'm reminding you that my two is better than one special is still valid, but only to the end of this month of love, which is February. So get on the phone, 1-800-684-2825. What this special means is when you book your room package for Santa Soul and you refer a friend who also books, both of you will receive $200 off your all-inclusive Santa Soul Festival Reservation. Junior, what do I mean by all-inclusive? What he means by all-inclusive is your food is included at all nine restaurants, room service, and snack bars. What he means is all your alcohol is included. What he also means, all your event tickets are included. Your transportation to and from the airport is also included. Unlimited resort credits when you get a chance to get book a spa package, gift store items, golf, and more. All of that's included. I'm included. Unc is included. Hey, we all included. We bringing you A list entertainment, comedy shows, spades, domino tournaments, pool parties, cigar lounges. We got a makeup and hair expo and concerts. You get done with all that, you could just head over to the Hard Rock Casino and try your luck. Steve Harvey gonna be in that gambling the whole damn time. Now, what's the number? 1 800 684 2825. 1 800. 684-2825, 684-2825, huh? Or you can dial 1-800-684-2825. Or you can also go to steveharveysandandsoul.com. Or you can dial this number, 1-800-684-2825. Call with your boy on the line and y'all book and both get 200 off and take y'all's girls. This the month of love. Like plan. Yeah. Steve yeah, Harvey, sayingthesoul.com. Labor Day weekend, Punta Cana. We're going to be balling out of control. Steve Harvey, saying the soul. 1-800-684-2825.
All right, Steve, we'll be back with our last break of the day and some closing remarks at 49 minutes after, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, Steve, here we are, the last break of the day on this last day of the week for us this Friday. It's been an impactful week, a great week. Um, leave us with some closing remarks, you know, Steve. Um, what really gets damaged is you because when that child grows up, and he can now stand on his own and he can take his own self somewhere. He can buy his own clothes. And now you want to come around and, hey, that's my son. And then he's old enough to ask you questions. Yeah, I'm your son, but where were you when I needed you, man? Where were you when I was standing in the window? Where were you when I was sitting on the porch, man, with my lunch box, just looking at every car that went by, hoping that my daddy would finally come through to my mama finally tell me coming there off the porch? You see, man, now you got to deal with that. And all them excuses you was giving that boy or that little girl back then, it don't mean damn thing to them. You know, man, and it stops you so much. See, once you become a person that provides excuses, it ain't just to your children. It ain't just to your loved one, your lover. It's to your job. It's to your career. And pretty soon you start giving excuses to yourself because it's a pattern of behavior. And you've got to break that pattern of behavior because it's a no-win situation for you. Stop making excuses, man. Why don't you just simply do what you say you're going to do? It's much easier to do that. If you say you're going to do it, be a man of your word, a woman of your word, and go do it. Period. Now, if you're not going to do it, say that. Be a man of your word on that. See, that's what I do. When somebody asks me to do something, I distinctly tell them, hey, man, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry, but I won't be there. That way, ain't no hope of you looking for me. Well, he said he wasn't coming, but I'm going to see if he come anyway. No, no, no. If I tell you I'm not coming, you pretty much bank I ain't coming. But if I tell you I'm coming, you can look for me. And chances are, I'll be there. It would take a lot for me not to do what I say I'm doing. I just don't know. I don't like it. You can't get the way you go for the bunch of All right? Y'all have a good day. For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit steveharveyfm.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 